A common question people have when it comes to vinyl and selling vinyl online. Is vinyl media mail? In this video, I'm gonna answer that question once and for all. You're gonna to wanna to stick around because I'm gonna provide some very specific and very important tips for shipping your records, regardless of how far they are going. I'm also gonna share a few different places online that might be good to sell your records if that's something that you are looking to get into. What is media mail? Well, Media Mail was created by the United States Postal Service for shipping specific media type items. Books is probably the most common and the one you think of most frequently. But what about music? Does music count as media? Well, the answer is yes. Music is media. That includes CDs, cassettes, vinyl records, even others like 8-track. You can throw them all in there. Media mail tends to be a little bit less expensive than boxing something up and shipping it priority. There are a few caveats though. Technically, you're not supposed to include anything else in that box other than the media itself. If you're looking to send a letter, a birthday card, anything like that, and the US Postal Service catches you, you're going to USPS jail. Just kidding. I don't know what they'll do, just ship the record without anything else in there. You can always include an invoice, but that's about it. If you are shipping internationally from the United States outside of the country, and that includes Canada and Mexico, you're not going to be able to ship it media mail. There is not a media mail international option. If you have records, if you just inherited records, or if, if someone gave you some records and you're looking, okay, where's the best place to sell these? You might look at a few different places online. eBay is perhaps the most well-known marketplace for selling stuff online. And eBay is a great place to go. Now, you might have a little bit extra competition on there, or you might not, depending on what it is you're selling. The other place is Discogs. Discogs is a marketplace tailored specifically to the physical format of media. You can add things to your collection, you can list items for sale, and it gets down as granular as the specific pressing. If you're gonna list it on Discogs, make sure that you have a very clear understanding of how to go about pinpointing what pressing you have specifically. That is gonna be something that matters in many cases. When it comes to shipping your records, what is the best way to go about it? I like this kind of box because it has extra padding. You can see that it's not gonna get corner dings through a package like this. So very, very useful. And this one might be worth reusing at some point. Next, you can also pick up boxes like this right here. Now I picked this up in a case of about 50, and this allows you to fold it. It's specifically sized for records, and you can see if I were to ship this David Bowie album, it fits perfectly in that dimensional space. Next is the inside padding. You always want to add a little extra padding on the front and the back of the record. This one is a little bit small. It actually came with that one piece, but it still provides a little bit extra space on the front or a little bit extra space on the back that um, help it from getting damaged and stuff like that. You always want to have that extra space. Now for the final tip. If you are shipping used records, uh, it is often best to ship them outside of the sleeve. You can see that I store my records right here in these plastic outer sleeves. And of course you have the record in an inner sleeve and I have it stored right outside the jacket. Why do you want to ship it outside of its jacket in its own inner sleeve? Because if the record is getting moved around, it's going to create less tension and you can kind of see there's a little bit of a seam split right here. Avoiding those seam splits is something that collectors really, really like. They don't want to have those blemishes on their records more often than not. So there are my tips for better packing and shipping of records. That's where to sell them online. And of course, answering the big question, are vinyl records considered media mail? If you like tips like this, if you like exploring music and bands and the history of them, feel free to hit that subscribe button and like this video because that's what this channel is all about. As one person said many, many moons ago and someone else just a couple days ago, this dude is a damn nerd. I am Andy, this is the Fence Post Final channel, and I'll see you in the next video.